How are you, my friends? This uh, video is presenting seven old exams questions related to real zeros of polynomial functions. Let's see, we need to factor the polynomial in the first question, x to the power five. For sure, this is not an easy function to factor. So we can use the rational zeros theorem, which says, find p, a factor of the constant term, minus 24 is the constant term. So plus or minus one, plus or minus two, plus or minus three, plus or minus four, plus or minus six, plus or minus eight, plus or minus 12, plus or minus 24. Now q is the uh, factor of the leading coefficient, which is one. So if we divide every p by every q, we get the possible rational zeros. See this one? <clears throat> now we can take any these any of these rational possible rational zeros and we try them by synthetic so let's see the coefficients here 1 minus 4 minus 3 22 minus 4 minus 24 so if one we try one the remainder is minus 12 so you try it yourself please check it bring one down multiply by 1 minus 3 multiply minus 6 you get the remainder here minus 12 so the remainder is not zero so one is not a zero let's continue checking the uh, possible rational zeros we take minus one please check it here put one down minus one we get minus five five until you get the remainder zero so minus one is a zero you can try it again as i told you before if you find a zero try it again but it is not repeated now let's try two. One comes down here, one times two is two. You add minus three, multiply, you get minus six until you get the remainder zero. So two is a zero, let's try it again now. Try two, one comes down, one times two is two, minus one, minus two, when you add you get minus six, minus 12, the remainder is zero. So two is a repeated zeros. Now we have degree five, we found already three zeros. Two is repeated and minus and two, uh, where's the other one? And minus one is a zero. So uh, stop because two zeros are left. So I take the quotient here, one minus uh, one minus six, I factor it, x plus two, x minus three. So now the whole zero is minus one, minus two, three and two repeated. If you need to find the function in factor form, it will be x plus one, x plus two, x minus three, x minus two, all squared. That's the function here, x power five. Now, question number two, we need the number of possible rational zeros of this polynomial function. This is degree four. So to find the possible rational zeros, we find p, p, the factors of the uh, constant term, so plus or minus one, plus or minus two, plus or minus three, plus or minus four, plus or minus six, plus or minus 12. We find Q from the leading coefficient, plus or minus one, plus or minus two, plus or minus three, plus or minus six. So the question we need, the number of possible rational zeros, it will be 24, because we take every P divided by every Q. So I take all this P divided by one, See, then I take all this P divide by two, then all this P divide by three, each one, then all the P divide by six, each one. Don't write the repeated possible rational zeros. So when you count these, you get 24. In, in this question, we did not say find the zeros. See, if you look at the question, find the number of the possible rational zeros. Now, if A and B are distinct rational zeros, distinct means they are different, unlike, they're not the same. Rational zeros of this polynomial x cubed, find A times B. Now, something nice here in this question, to find the zeros, so we can say let y equals zero, then we can factor the equation by grouping any time 
you can factor by grouping or by any method, do it. If you cannot factor, you find P over Q. So this one, take X squared common. So that will be X minus two here. Take minus four, it will be X minus two. Take this one, another common X minus two. So there'll be difference between two squares. So we have X minus two, X plus two, X minus two. So we need the distinct. Distinct means different. So we have one, zero is two, one, zero is minus two. Just multiply the distinct. So the answer is minus four. Now just to note here, if the equation cannot be factored, use P and Q. This is a function F of degree four. We need, using Descartes' rule of signs, we need to find P plus N. What is P? The maximum possible number of positive real zeros. Capital N is the maximum possible number of negative real zeros. So we have to check the variations here. This is the function. As I mentioned before, I would put the red sign here as positive, the black sign as negative. So from negative to positive, one, one change there. Positive to negative, another change. Negative to positive, another change. And positive to negative, another change. So we have four variations. We have to subtract two, four or two or zero. Always we subtract an even integer. So these are the positive real zeros. So let's take the largest, the maximum is four. Here we have, if you put f of minus x, see so replace x by minus x. So what do you get here? This is minus eight. If you put here minus x becomes minus. If you put here minus squared will be plus, so still minus six. Put here minus becomes a minus. So all the terms in the f of minus x are negative. No variations here. So n is zero. So zero plus four is four. Now x, question five here, not easy question. It's a nice one. X minus two squared is a factor of the polynomial function, X power four. Let's find A times B. So we have to find small a, small b, and then multiply them. This is a multiple choice question. Now X minus two squared means the zero two is repeated twice because of the squared. So we can use synthetic division two times. And each time, the remainder should be zero. So we have here one, the coefficients are one a, eight, a minus 16 and b. So bring one down, one times two is two, a plus two, remember here, you cannot put two a, a plus two times two, and then you add with the eight, you get 12, multiply all this by two, add with minus 16, multiply with two, you get eight a plus 16 plus b. This is the remainder zero. Why the remainder zero? Because this is a factor. X minus two is a factor. So we put eight A plus 16 plus B equals zero. Let's call this star M. Okay, now we continue. This is a zero. We, we divide by two. One comes down, one times two is two. When you add, you get A plus four. Multiply by two. When you add, you get four A plus 20 multiply by two, and then you add, you get 12a plus 48. Also the remainder should be zero. So 12a plus 48 is zero, let's call this star t. Now we need to solve star m, we need to solve star t. On the next slide we see that star t is easier. Why easier? Because we have only one variable a, and this one, star m, it has a and b. So let's do first star t. So start with the equation star t because it has one variable. 12a plus 48 is equal to zero, so a will be minus four. Let's go to star m. I put directly a here, minus four. Simplify the equation, b will be 16. So just multiply a, b becomes minus 64. See, the answer is D, D minus 64. Let's go to question number six. Find the number of rational zeros of this polynomial function. X to the power 50 minus five X to the power 25 plus X squared minus one. So this is a power 50. 
and we need the number of rational zeros. For sure, we cannot factor this. Then we find all the possible rational zeros, P over Q, it's only plus or minus one. Now, how do I check? I cannot use here synthetic division because I have to put many, 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 many zeros in the missing. So I can use the remainder is equal to the image M of one. Another remainder M of minus one. So I replace one in the function here, there, M of X. So I get minus four, which is not zero. So one is not a zero. I replace minus one also in the function. The answer is six, which is not zero. So that means one, which is rational, possible rational zero. One is not a zero, minus one is not a zero. So we have no rational zeros. We have zeros there, maybe complex, maybe irrational, but not rational. The number of rational zeros is zero. No rational zeros. This one again, Descartes rule of signs. We have uh, P of X is uh, X to the power five, etc. Small a is the maximum possible number of positive real zeros. Small b is the maximum possible number of negative. See, this is the maximum, this is the maximum. Find a squared plus b squared as a multiple choice, mcq. So four, two, 13, 20, and 10. Let's see. Let's look at the variations. Positive, as I said, is the red one. Negative is the black. So between here, positive, negative, there is one variation. Negative, positive, another variation. And here is another variation. So three variations, three or one, positive real zeros. If you put minus x in each x, and then you simplify it. See, there's a minus there. That's a plus. So there is a minus. <coughs> this is a minus. With the minus becomes plus. That's a squared is 7x squared plus. Minus and minus 12 is plus. Minus 12. Let's see how many variations here. No variation. Minus to plus, there is one variation. And here plus to minus, there is one variation. So 2 or 0. So let's take the maximum is small a, which is 3. And in the negative, we take the maximum number, which is two. So A is three, B is two. A squared, nine, B squared is four. When you add, you get 13. And the answer is C. Now these are the answers of the seven questions we have seen. For other examples, please, you can see the video in the algebra course lectures, lecture 37 real zeros of polynomial functions. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, you can subscribe and share it with your friends. Thank you very much.